hello welcome and welcome back to my channel and let us talk about this news about uh, the average hike in fy 2024 uh, so we'll talk about TCS, Infosys, HCL, Wipro, Tecm, and also we'll talk about Cognizant and ENY. So these are the news which I have or information which I have. So let's talk about for, for TCS perspective because TCS has already declared the hike and it has been affected. So TCS has given a less hike compared to the the speculation that we got it will be around 10 percent but they have given around five to seven percent hike on average people got six percent hike based on the band they got certain like you no know, top band they got 12 percent but again uh, the average people has like you know they got around uh, six to seven percent hikes so not so promising not so bad but like for tcs that was the case now infosys is slightly did slightly better they had offered nine percent on an average and that is based on uh, the performance definitely the year of year uh, the rating appraisal everything was counted so nine percent on an average 5282 was really good for infosys they they have offered 14 15 percent hike but this year nine percent the reason being uh tcs hired a lot of lateral employee with good uh uh, like you know uh, with good packages but infosys hired a bit but not with so good packages their budget was stringent so they didn't uh, go for aggressive hiring so that might be the reason that uh, infosys is still being able to offer a good hike i mean nine percent is quite decent now when it comes to hcl in hcl before pandemic and after pandemic they did an aggressive hiring they have during like you know during uh, 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 lateral entry they have given promotion uh, eight years guy you have seen eight years guy becoming manager technical architect so whatever they ask people ask if they are good candidate they offered a good salary uh, and also they got a, their dream position but when it comes to hike the things got uh changed and if you see the average hike it was uh, not even uh, like you know seven eight percent it is strict to five percent and this year there is no news of hike so uh it's pretty much uh this like you know depressing for hcl people uh now the best part of wipro is they are giving consistently good hike if you see from starting from 2021 or 22 uh, in 22 they have offered 15 percent hike for the top band uh i was witness because i was part of wipro that time so they have offered 15 percent hike for top band and the next band they offered around 12 10 to 12 percent and the third band they offered like around five percent or six percent so if you see the average hike is 10 percent so then you can realize that this year also the top band will give 15 percent hike but having said that in wipro if you are working uh, above manager so there there might be the high could be slightly lesser if you are in project lead tech lead senior software engineer software engineer then your hike might be slightly higher so that i have observed in wipro now coming to uh techem techem is offering pathetic hike for last five years so you see five 2021 the hike was negligible in 0.3 percent almost nobody got hike 522 and 523 almost 5%, 524 it is expected to have around 5% hike so you can high, expect between 3 to 8%, top band may get 8% and average hike is 5 5.2 now coming back to uh, cognizant so what i am hearing from cognizant is average high could be around 8% so people got the top band they might expect around 10 12 percent people are slightly lesser they can get around six percent but average you can expect around seven to eight percent hike from cognizant now uh Ernst and young if you see uh ui gds gds had given very less hike in the last year basically so the average hike was around five percent uh in technical uh if you are in tech consulting domain but if you're in tax and assurance domain you might have got a good hike so tax assurance domain some people got around uh and 18 percent hike or 12 percent hike but uh for tech consulting it was very less it was between three to eight percent and if you see the reason uh, uh in 2023 they told the average project called of the march uh, like the, the speed between two entities ui basically that has been cancelled and for that reason they lost a lot of revenues but this year that is this, that is not the case so possibly we may expect slightly better hike uh, maybe eight percent on average for tech consulting people and for people who are in assurance and tax they might get slightly more uh, that they expect uh, they got in the last year last year so that is for uh, eny which is 
a bit promising and now coming back to the last point is uh, Accenture so Accenture last year there was no hike but they have given the entire variable pay so there is no cut on variable pay that's a good thing but again what I am listening um, from the people who are in Accenture this hike maybe also would be no hike here or very less hike here so if so back to back to no hike here if a company is uh, going for then it would be disaster for uh, the employee basically they are losing a lot of uh, I mean money basically so if you are in Accenture do let me know what you heard about uh, this hike otherwise whatever the news I have for this company I shared with you you have if you have something do let me know in the comment below thank you